Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Batel from Batel's Kitchen and today I am super excited to be back with another soup recipe for you guys. Last week I shared a wonderful soup that is cozy and delicious but it's a couscous soup, Moroccan couscous soup actually, you should definitely check it out. But it takes more time and it has more vegetables. Today I'm taking it to a completely different place. We're making a zucchini soup that is actually made only from a few ingredients yet the flavors are absolutely amazing and it takes only a few minutes to prepare. Super fast, super easy and extremely cozy and delicious. I actually eat soups all year round, but whenever I want something that is quick and easy and delicious and even low carb if you're into it, this soup is definitely the answer. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make it. If you're new over here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post a new recipe every single week. All the measurements for the recipe are going to be in the description box below so you can check it out. And also, if you're looking for more help to jumpstart your healthier journey, check out my free ebook. It has beautiful breakfast and brunch ideas that can definitely help you get started. Okay, let's jump into the recipe. So this simple soup requires only a few ingredients and we're going to start with all the flavorings. We're going to peel some onions and we're going to cut them into big chunks. We're going to transfer our onion to a bowl and we're going to peel our garlic as well. I like to place my knife on top of the garlic and give it a quick push so the peel release more quickly. And now we are ready to cut our zucchinis. I like to keep the skin on and I cut them into big or medium chunks. It doesn't matter exactly which shape, it matters that they be the same size because we want them to cook more evenly. And once we have all the zucchinis cut up, we're going to transfer them to a bowl. And now we are ready to start our soup. We're going to take a few tablespoons of olive oil into a pot and we're going to add our onions and our garlic. I like to put a little bit of salt on top and give it a mix just to help the onions sweat. Once we have the onions translucent, we're going to add our chunks of zucchini. And here, the color matters. We're going to give it a mix and we're going to make sure we develop a nice color. The more color, the more flavor we have. And once we have all the zucchinis beautifully golden, we're going to add some water. It depends how you like the consistency of the soups. So it is better not to add a lot of water at first. We're going to add salt and pepper and nutritional yeast. We're going to cover the pot and we're going to let it boil and cook until the zucchinis are soft. In the meantime, we're going to chop some fresh dill. This is optional, but very recommended. It adds a beautiful freshness and wintry flavor to the soup. We're going to transfer it to a little bowl and set it aside. We're going to check if our zucchinis are soft and if they are, we're ready to stick our blender. We are going to blend the soup until it is nice and smooth and creamy. And we're going to add a little bit either soy milk or coconut milk, whichever one you prefer. And we're going to add our dill as well. We're going to give it a mix and we're going to make sure we adjust flavorings, salt, pepper, maybe more nutritional yeast, and we are ready to serve. So we're going to serve the soup into some bowls. and I like to add some crushed black pepper on top, maybe a little bit more coconut milk or soy milk just to add some color and some more brightness to the soup, maybe some fresh dill to garnish. 
and either croutons or baguettes, whichever you prefer, you do need some sort of something chunky to help enjoy all this deliciousness of the soup. This soup is super easy and very, very delicious, very healthy and so quick and easy to prepare. The flavors are actually intense and amazing, even though the soup has only a few ingredients. It is creamy, it is luscious, it is so cozy, and it is absolutely amazing. Whenever I make this soup for a party or for a gathering, everybody asks for the recipe. And I'm always so happy to say that this soup has only a few ingredients and only a few minutes to prepare. I hope you're going to give it a try. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're gonna give this cozy soup a try. If you did, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're looking for more plant-based recipes that are easy, delicious, vegan, gluten-free, and so good for you, check out my cookbook, Eggless Possibilities. You can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.